welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Disclaimer, the views expressed in this video are solely based on facts, yet some people will still deny the truth. You can't convince a moron not to be stupid. Canelo Alvarez says haters will never be happy. And look, let's just break it down honestly and objectively as possible. According to Michael Benson, TalkSport and BoxingScene.com, Canelo Alvarez had this to say about the critics of his fight against his mandatory Avani Yerdrum. I really don't have to give any explanation because they're never going to be happy with anything. I just fought the number one guy at 168 pounds and they're not happy with that either. So I have nothing to say. I don't care. And you know what? Canelo Alvarez is a thousand percent right because why should you care about fanboys' feelings? Fanboys are not based in reality. Fanboys are delusional. They don't care about the facts. These are the type of men that sit down when they pee. These are the type of men that close refrigerator doors with their hips. These are the type of guys that beg for rent money in their mom's basement. That's what these guys are. If we look at the facts, you just saw Canelo Alvarez beat up the number one guy from 168 pounds in the undefeated Callum Smith, who had a height advantage, a reach advantage, a weight advantage, all on Canelo Alvarez, yet everybody is trying to discredit Canelo Alvarez for this victory. And at the end of the day, Canelo Alvarez beat this man and beat him to a pulp, dominated this man. And this is the same guy who people said Canelo Alvarez was ducking, the same guy who people said Canelo Alvarez would never fight. Now they want to discredit him and make lies and say this man was not number one at the weight? How was he not number one at the weight? This man was the reign champion, the WBA champion. He was undefeated and he was also the World Boxing Super Series winner, but yet he wasn't a good fighter. Yet he wasn't number one. He was the clear number one at 168 pounds, the most accomplished fighter, and he's a dangerous fighter. But people don't give credit when they see Canelo Alvarez do great things. I mean, look, let's just be honest. When you look at Canelo Alvarez facing his mandatory challenger, Avani Yerdrum, a lot of people have a lot of things to say. Oh, he's cherry picking a bum. He's trying to, you know, he's trying to cherry pick these guys. He doesn't want to fight killers. But at the end of the day, Canelo Alvarez just fought the number one fighter at the weight. And now he's looking to face his mandatory in Avani Yerdrum. And then you get these false narratives saying, oh, Canelo Alvarez requested this guy to be his mandatory. That makes no sense. What the hell are you talking about? Avani Yudrum has been reinstated as a mandatory for that WBC title since 2019. You morons, you idiots, you dummies. Avani Yudrum has been the mandatory for that belt since 2019. So how in the hell did Canelo Alvarez? How did Canelo Alvarez pick him to be his mandatory? He didn't because at the end of the day, no one cared when he was David Benavidez mandatory. No one gave a damn. But when he becomes Canelo Alvarez mandatory, everybody gets their panties in a bunch. Everybody gets emotional and no one wants to keep the same energy. I mean, look at it like this. Look at Triple G. Does anybody give a damn when he was fighting a garbage mandatory? No one cared. No one cared about that, even though he turned down the Canelo Alvarez fight to face that garbage mandatory. Let's just be honest. What about Jamal? Who have I fought? Charlo. I mean, this guy faces back-to-back -back cherry picks and Dennis Hogan and Brandon Adams. But does anybody care about those fights? No. They say, oh, this guy's a killer. He's been avoided. He'll give Canelo problems. Based off of what? Let's be honest. Not only that, Demetrius Dudu Resume Andrade. Demetrius Garbage Truck Juice Andrade. This guy turns around and his whole career is either tune-ups, cherry picks, or garbage mandatories. And no one even cares that he's about to face another trash opponent. But no one cares. And look, does anybody keep the same energy with Caleb Vanilla Ice Plant? Caleb Sweet Cheeks Plant. I mean, no one cares that he just fought a certified Uber driver. No one even cares. But with Canelo Alvarez, no one wants to keep the same energy. Let's just be real about it. Because all these guys can fight garbage mandatories, tune-ups, and cherry picks. And Canelo Alvarez can't fight his mandatory opponent off of a belt he just won? Come on. These guys aren't keeping the same energy. I mean, look at it like this. The difference with Canelo Alvarez and everyone else is that before this mandatory, he literally just fought an undefeated world champion. 
after this mandatory. He's looking to fight two undefeated world champions back to back in Billy Joe Saunders and Kayla Plant in an attempt to become the first undisputed champion at 168 pounds, therefore making history. He's doing this in an attempt to make history. He wants to be great. This is what fanboys are simply not understanding. No one is coming close to what Canelo Alvarez is doing in the sport of boxing right now. Canelo Alvarez has the best resume of any active prime fighter in boxing, period. Yet they criticize this man for fighting champions, for daring to be great, for doing great things, for winning titles, for dominating elite opponents while their favorite fighters can fight Walmart clerks, Uber drivers, and McDonald's drive through workers. At the end of the day, Canelo Alvarez is pound for pound the best fighter in the world for a reason. Because men lie, women lie, but the facts don't lie.